Hey there, this is Lucius Framboise. So kind of picking up from our last video where we learned how to check if an input box was empty, we're gonna check if somebody cancels the input box. So let's first run it and see what output we get. So if we hit run and they hit cancel, we get false. So it returns false and it comes in here and it actually, take a look at that. If we enter nothing, false, something was entered, false. So this code that checks if it was empty does not properly execute um, when, the when the input box is canceled. So let's say we want to do something like if, and we want to say if it was canceled. So if output equals, and we'll put in false, then, and if. So let's say message box, and we'll say um, input canceled execute cancel code so now whatever you put in here and maybe it's something as simple as just exit the sub because if there's nothing input they're canceling the rest of the procedure so let's take a look and see what happens now if we run this and we hit cancel we say false input canceled execute cancel code and now we're not getting the something was en was entered and output so this is really really cool um, Let's see what happens if we enter something, but we still cancel it. It still happens. We still get that execute cancel code. Okay, but before we go, we need to take a look at something else. So if you notice, when we run our input box, we really have three options, OK, cancel, and X. So we know that cancel returns false, and then we get out. But what happens if they cancel by clicking X, the close button? Well, it still returns false. It follows the input canceled, and we can execute our code there. So that's pretty much it when it comes to catching a canceled input box. Um, there's a ton of great ways to use it. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.